So even as the focus remains on Parliament today, where we are going to see the government push for the passage of Telangana bill, uh, let's also, in fact, shift focus to Hyderabad, uh, where Kiran Kumar Reddy seems uh, set to resign. Uh, T.S. Sudhir is joining us with more. Sudhir, uh, now he's threatened to resign several times, but today seems like the day when he will come good on that threat. Absolutely. Uh, Kiran Kumar Reddy, it looks like he's resigned to his fate any time after 3 o'clock after the Telangana bill is debated in Parliament in the Lok Sabha today is when Kiran Kumar Reddy is likely to meet the Governor at Raj Bhavan and submit his resignation. We are getting those indications because he shunted out eight of his officials from the Chief Minister's office yesterday. We are also told that he has shifted out most of his personal belongings from the Chief Minister's office. So in that sense, Kiran Kumar Reddy, having realized that all his efforts to stop the bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh have come to naught, has decided to put in his papers. Now, what is going to be his next political strategy? There are reports that he could start a new party, but not many MLAs, not many of his fellow congressmen seem to be in a mood to actually leave the Congress and join his party because they realize that if the bifurcation of Andhra Pradesh does take place, Kiran Kumar Reddy's slogan of a united Andhra Pradesh won't really cut much ice. So in that sense, his political party may become a non-starter. So in that sense, Kiran Kumar Reddy really has been pushed to a corner, not really to have, having too many political options. One option that many of his colleagues talk about is that he should probably take political sannyas for a limited period of at least five years because there is a lot of anger against the Congress in Andhra Pradesh. But there is also anger against Kiran Kumar Reddy that he actually waited for such a long time since the 30th of July when the Congress Working Committee took that decision. And all along he was making people believe that he has an ace up his sleeve, that he will somehow or the other prevent the by division of Andhra Pradesh. So many of those people from the Simandra region feeling extremely let down that Kiran Kumar Reddy really flattered to deceive at the end of the day. Tisudhi, thank you very much for joining us this morning. So, Andhra Chief Minister Kiran Kumar Reddy now looks all set to quit. We'll be following those developments through the day. Uh, also here in Delhi, the Telangana bill that is going to come up for discussion in the Lok Sabha. A lot of political maneuvering uh, that is going to take place.